Tall Ship Tuesday. My name is Jessie. I'm one of the historical interpreters here on Tall Ship Providence. I specialize in a background in uh, historical costuming and textile history, and today I wanted to answer some a very common question we get on our tours. Aren't you hot in this? questions like aren't you hot in one of these costumes I like to bring up to people that we need to consider 18th century textiles looks a lot different than uh, modern day textiles today one of the big things is polyester and your synthetic fabrics are pretty much non-existent in the time period and that really allows for some really great opportunities of how one deals with warm weather cold weather humid weather uh, during the 18th century one of the things we first consider is the fact that uh, we actually wear a base layer of linen uh, for our shirts when we're wearing our costumes. Linen comes from the flax plant and has been used for, has been, has been cultivated for thousands of years uh, with the sole intent of its major property being moisture wicking and able to uh, deal with the heat. It is a wonderful light weave fabric that actually gives us a lot of room for sweat and things like that to kind of help evaporate off the skin and doesn't retain moisture, which is really great in hot and humid climates. We also wear wool, which is generally what most people think of as being the really hot piece in our garments. But wool has some really wonderful benefits, especially in maritime costuming, in the fact that wool has the benefit of staying warm when you're wet. When you're dealing with things like weather or falling off of a ship or something like that, being wet can actually be a, a dangerous issue in the 18th century when things like pneumonia and tuberculosis uh, can be quickly triggered by uh, lower body temperatures as well as things like hypothermia. But wool actually stays warm even when it's soaking wet. Wool also being a natural fiber also has the benefit of allowing the skin to breathe. So even in hot weather, it can actually stay, help kind of keep you cool by keeping your skin covered in the hot weather, but also allowing your skin to breathe. We also do wear some uh, other fabrics that are really beneficial in dealing with warm weather, like cotton in our neckerchiefs and sometimes uh, silk stockings. Those kinds of things uh, would have been more seen in the 18th century as kind of more of a like luxury commodity due to both the early republic's uh, use of cotton farming and cotton plantations and silk being a major trading item that would have been uh, collected by uh, ships like Providence when dealing with conflicts as part of the prizes. Uh, both of those also allow the skin to breathe and have some moisture wicking uh, properties that allow them to be very comfortable. Well that concludes Tall Ship Tuesday today. My name is Jesse. I'm one of the historical interpreters here and I hope to see you guys again uh, next time.